All right, so finally we get Chris Brown responding to Jumpin' Usher and his little altercation at the Lovers and Friends Festival. Now, Chris Brown tweeted, Y'all been geeked all weekend. Y'all dragging it now. It was mad people backstage and security was trying to clear everyone off stage. People started pushing back. I intervened to let them know my child was back there. So y'all can keep your narrative. Okay, so the only thing you got to say about Usher is y'all been geeked all weekend. Let us know about the skate party. Let us know about the altercation between you and Usher. You want to talk about the one that's less confrontational. So uh, anyway, that little clip y'all saw of me backstage going crazy, that you know, that was just something that had to do with my baby. <laughs> all right, all right, Chris. It's everybody else's fault. We, we making up stories. Y'all notice Usher and Chris Brown could have easily addressed the situation and said, hey, it didn't happen. They could have easily did that. Now, maybe they kept it going so people can buy tickets to the Lovers and Friends Festival. I wouldn't put that past them. But don't make it seem like everybody's making up stuff and somebody's making up a narrative. We saw the video of you cussing out Tiana Taylor. And Usher was holding you back. Then 24 hours later, we see a video of you arguing with somebody else. Now, okay, I'm willing to take his word and say he was trying to protect his child backstage during the second altercation. But still, we just got two clips of you yelling and screaming. What you want people to do with that, Chris? I'm just keeping it real. Let me know what y'all think about this. As a matter of fact, I had to rewind the clip because I don't know. Maybe that wasn't Chris Brown. Maybe we just making up stuff. So I, I, is that Chris Brown on the screen, y'all? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.